Hi YouTube, so um, like I said I would, I'm doing a video on uh, PRK laser surgery which I had yesterday, so I'm on day one now. Um, so I showed up there, I went to a waiting room, I wasn't given a hospital bed like I was for our ICL. Um, so I show up there about half an hour later, they give me some Valium. Because I opted for Valium, you don't have to have it, but I, I wanted some just to help relax. Um, it was only a low amount, but it did help me relax a little bit. Uh, then you're shown um, all the eye drops and stuff you're going to have to take for the next few weeks and when to apply them and things like that. Anyway, about an hour and a half from getting there is the was the actual surgery. Uh, you go into like a dark room uh, with like this big machine over a bed with like a head thing on the back that you have to obviously you have to keep your head straight and still. So I lay down, um, he put some drops in my eyes. Uh, I'm trying to think back to what happened because um, I was quite out of it with the uh, Valium. Um, he put this thing over my eye which held it open, uh, which I think was like a cylinder, sort of like this, but obviously I couldn't really see it properly. Um, let me just turn this down a little bit. Sorry. Uh, and then um, some more drops go in, and then I saw like it was this plastic thing, a bit like a boat oar. Um, and it was white, so I had this thing on, and I saw him go like this to like wipe the epithelium away, uh, which I couldn't feel any of this, by the way, but I could see that bit. Um, so next was the laser. It's like a, a green light. He tells you to um, just stare at, focus on, uh, and then it starts blasting. You can't, you can feel it in the sense that it vibrates a little bit on your eye. Um, and as you're looking at it, the, the light starts off clear and gradually gets more blurry with each pulse from the laser. Um, the laser stops for like a second, then starts up again. Um, and that carries on for about 30 seconds total laser time. Uh, I'd say about, about 30 seconds. Um, after that, he rinses your eye with saline which feels quite cool but again you can't really feel it much because you've got an aesthetic drops in um so it's basically cleaning it all away all the little bits of cornea that's just been burnt off uh and then he puts a bandage contact lens in and that's it um pain slash discomfort versus icl surgery i'd say the laser is more uncomfortable um, and probably a bit more painful too. The worst part is when you have your eye forced open, um, there's like bright lights surrounding the laser machine and you, your eyes are sensitive to the light. So the brightness and you can't close your eyes. So it would be like just waking up in the morning and looking at something really bright. Obviously you tend to squint, don't you? You can't do that when you have the laser, your eyes forced open. So that's not very nice, but it's not like unbearable. Um, so after that, you take. I was taken into another room where the nurse put in each drop I need to take, like as like a first dose. Um, she did it all for me. I didn't have to do it myself. Uh, shortly after you discharged, the surgeon said to get home and comfortable quickly. Um, so I before the uh, uh, anaesthetic wears off so I can chill. Um, unfortunately, I live about two and a half hours away from where I actually had the surgery because I had it done in Moorfields because I wanted to get the best treatment I could. Um, and the drive back was just, obviously I wasn't driving, I was a passenger, but the drive back was just the worst thing in the world. Um, I brought a coat with me and the light sensitivity was immediate and horrible. 
So um, I had like the hood of the coat and put it over my face this way and just streamed tears the entire journey back and almost slept but I couldn't sleep. I can never sleep in a car. I can't sleep on a plane either. I just can't get com comfortable in there. So yeah, that, that was just horrible. As soon as I got home, um, I uh, went to my room and had my windows blacked out. Any amount of light was just the worst thing and my eyes were streaming. Uh, so I got home, had the eye drops, which I'll go through in a minute. And uh, I had some codeine as well. that They didn't prescribe it to me. I have codeine anyway because I have a slip disc in my back. Um, and that helps. It helped knock me out, really. Uh, so I, I slept for about an hour, woke up from the pain, my eyes were streaming again. Um, and then by about 10 p.m., maybe 9 p.m., I slept for a solid 12 hours. Uh, and I've woken up this morning. Well, what's the time? I can't tell the time. Uh, I'd say it's about 12 now. Uh, and my eyes feel a lot better. Um, they're not as painful. I mean, they still hurt, as you can probably see. That they're watering quite a lot, and they're really red. But um, all right, I'll go through the medication I've got to take. So they give you these, which I wear at night. They're just like foam goggles uh, with holes in them to let the uh, condensation out. I'm given this, which I think is a anti-bacterial. Uh, take this four times a day. Um, I'm given these single-use eye drops, which are like anti-inflammatory ones, and they gave me a very small amount of local anaesthetic. Um, I've only got two vials of that, so I have to use it really sparingly. Uh, but I put one drop in each eye, and that really helps with the pain uh, more than anything, to be honest. Um, oh, and they also gave me preservative-free artificial tears to use as and when required. Um, I'm not going to go into the whole schedule of what I've got to take, but uh, it's, it's going to be about six weeks' worth of, worth of drops. Um, so it's quite long-winded compared to ICL surgery. But, uh, yeah, hopefully by tomorrow the pain won't be as bad. I'd say yesterday on a scale of 1 to 10, the pain was a solid 9 out of 10. Really painful. It felt like someone had a, two blow torches like straight in my eyes. <laughs> um, compared to ICL surgery, which really wasn't that painful at all. Apart from the first night, but even then it was nowhere near the pain from PRK. Um, so I'm a bit out of it at the minute because I've had codeine and other things. and So I haven't really planned this video very well in terms of what I'm going to talk about. But uh, The vision today is actually better than yesterday. Um, like I couldn't see the clock across the room yesterday, but I can now. And I can see the TV now, but it is blurry, obviously, because the epithelial cells have got to grow over the cornea again. Um, one thing I would definitely recommend you do is take sunglasses with you for after the surgery, because the light sensitivity is probably the worst thing. Um, I struggle to like look outside, so I've just got some basic shades with me here, which I wear when the sensitivity is bad. Uh, don't know what else to show you. These are the preservative free drops, but I do have my own anyway, which I get from my doctors. Um, I think they're like foreign high back, they're called, something like that. Uh, these are the ones I have to take every hour. De Dexa, Dexa free, uh, single use, and one thing to help myself is I've got a mini fridge I've had it for years but I never really use it anymore um, I got that out plugged it in 
so I can keep my wetting drops cold as well as the anaesthetic drops well basically all the drops to keep them cold so it feels nice on my eyes there it's a cheeky little mini fridge uh, so yeah this is just a quick rundown day one of the surgery pain isn't quite as bad now um, and I'll report when well I'll probably report after a week because next week I get the bandage lens is taken out um, so I'll do another video then and then ultimately I'll do a video of what my prescription settles at because as you know I came from a minus 22 ish with minus 6 degrees of astigmatism so I'm like a major major case of myopia um, so for anyone interested I'm certainly interested in what modern day surgeries can do for someone like me um, if I got to like a, a zero prescription that would be amazing um, and absolutely life changing uh, so yeah subscribe if you're interested like, I'm, not, I'm not on this to like get a million subscribers I'm purely on it to share my experience and um, uh answer any questions you may have so yeah thanks for watching